my YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to teach you on how to make a simple amplifier at home and just before we begin I can teach you some basics on how an amplifier works an amplifier in our case is a transistor that's how it works and I can show you using my diagrams here so this is the circuit diagram on how to connect this transistor and this is the transistor itself in our case we'll be using D718 whose pins the first the, the pin to, to your right is the emitter the middle pin is the uh, the collector and the pin to the far left is the base so it's an NPN kind of transistor so how it works is very simple it uh, the it you connect it to the VCC this is the voltage due to the collector and then we have now our, our, our ends we have uh, the our NP uh, our N, N ends and we have the P at the middle so this is the, the, the P which is the base is where we connect our input voltage so this is where we connect our input voltage and this is at this far end so this is where we connect our input voltage and then the other ends that is the collector and the emitter is where we connect we connect it to the power supply and then what happens what happens is on the input voltage when an input voltage is connected it forward biases this one it forward biases the the term the end connected to the negative terminal forward biasing means it allows current to flow so it acts like a switch it switch on it switches on the uh, transfer of current as you can see this, this is the, now the this is the more explicit diagram where you can see that the base actually acts like a switch so this is the area connect these these terminals are connected to the power supply but there is a lot of resistance to current to current flow so there is a potential difference between the two ends that is between the collector and the emitter but when you connect when you connect the base to a certain just a small current that, that is above 0 0.6 volts it it switches on the circuit and makes the resistance to all to drop by a large margin so the current will flow this way remember okay we can say the current flows from the positive to the negative terminal but the electrons flow from the negative to the positive terminal so that's exactly how it works so it allows just a, a small amount of current to trigger a large amount of current and remember the current goes just by the phase in which it came from the base so it is amplified from remember an audio is like an AC a small AC current coming like a signal and when it passes through the base it is it meets other electrons here and it flows as a big wave so it's amplified like that so having known how it works let's now enter our business of the day which is making a simple amplifier to make that amplifier of ours we need a power supply so this is our power supply we need a speaker which is in this case is the load this is the speaker and then we need a transistor which i told you d718 this is the transistor and we need the heat sink that will connect the transistor onto it we need the potentiometer or in this case will be used to control our, our volume and we need a capacitor just make sure that we have a current or a wave with the with the correct amplitude for amplification so our capacitor here is 25 volts 
and a thousand microfarads. Remember, the thousand microfarads is recommended, but the 25 volts varies with the amount of power that you give in. And then we'll need a, a thousand ohms resistor or a one kilo ohm resistor. So this is our resistor. So we have all our equipment. We have all that we need to make our uh, amplifier. So what we will need is just to connect all of them in the right order. So first, let's mount our transistor onto the board. Now that we have mounted our transistor, we need to connect it to our cap to the capacitor. Just to complete it very easy. And connect it to the middle pin. After that, we need to connect the other end to the emitter pin of the transistor. So this is the emitter. After that, we need to connect the resistor between the base and the collector. Remember, all, the, all this connection is the diagram that I showed you, the diagram on this, the, the, the circuit diagram that I showed you at the beginning of the video but I will show you also after after the video so this is where you connect the resistor that is between the collector and our base so that is it our our amplifier is ready or almost ready this is our aux cable in which we will connect it with the, the positive part which will go to the input comes to this other end of the resistor While the negative terminal, which is in this case, this one, though a sound, uh, uh, the input signal necessarily do not have a, a positive or negative terminal because it's an AC current. 
so you connect it to this other end and so we have connected our this this is where we'll get our input signal this is purposely for our input signal now we need to connect the power remember in our circuit diagram this is the circuit diagram the power of the vcc is connected to the speaker so the positive terminal of the vcc is connected to the speaker while the negative is connected to the emitter remember our emitter is in this end from this diagram this is the emitter so you connect the negative terminal to this end and the positive terminal to the speaker so right away let's compute so this is our speaker So as you have said, this is only where you connect the negative terminal. So let's do it very quick. Make sure they don't touch each other and then this is now how we'll connect it this is to the positive terminal remember this is our power supply so this is the positive terminal the connection we have completed the So we need to complete the connection. Remember I told you we connect our negative terminal to this end. And there we are. So our amplifier is ready provided you this is the, resi the variable resistor doing all this and this is the base where we connect our input and then the emitter on this end and the collector at the middle so let's now connect it to the power and then we see what happens As you can see it's now showing that there is power and you can connect it and select and let's select a song it's playing it's playing very well and you can see our potentiometer is working potentiometer working you can increase the volume it's actually very high 
it's very very powerful as you can see so guys we are done with our, the project of the day so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed there is more to come subscribe and click the bell so that you will get the notification every time we upload a new video thank you